Hello, I'm Tim, and today I'd like to do a speed run of a new feature that just landed on GitLab.com and will be included in the 14.1 release. So the, the GitLab package registry supports a pretty wide variety of formats, and in 14.1, we've added support for Helm charts as well. Um, Helm is a tool that streamlines installing and managing your Kubernetes applications. And with the package registry, you can publish packaged Helm charts to the registry and install them into a running Kubernetes cluster. And you could do this by authenticating with your personal access token, a deploy token, or a CI job token as part of your pipeline. And so I have the docs open oops, up here at the top. And uh, there's the feature is, well, I guess the first thing to do will be to start a new project actually. So I'm gonna go to, and let's create a new project. I will create a blank project and we'll call it Tim's Charts. My Helm Chart Repository Example Project. And I will make it public and initialize it with a readme. Okay, so I have my project here. Um, that's, so now going back to the documentation, we have a project. And the first thing to do is enable the feature flag. This is if you're on self-manage. I already I know it's already enabled for .com. But let's just check. We go to settings and packages and registries. Oops, actually we go to general. And then we could see here visibility, project features and permissions. And I can see here packages are enabled. I could also dis disable it from here as well. Okay, so the next step is to build a Helm package. And here we point you to the Helm documentation. So prior to doing this demo, I've done a few things. Um, I installed Minikube um, so that I can have a local Kubernetes cluster on my machine. I also had to install Kubernetes and I also had to install Helm and the Helm plugin Helm push, which is used for pushing images, although you could do it with curl as well if you wanted to. Okay, so those are the prerequisites. We have our project started. Let's let's get started by authenticating to the Helm repository. So the first thing that I would like to do is create a personal access token. So I'm in my project here, Tim's charts. Let's go to my profile. So I can see. Let's try doing this. Nope. Edit profile. There it is. Okay. So if I expand this here, I can see access tokens. And then we'll call this um, Tim's Charts 2. And I'm only going to use this for today, so I'm going to set the expiration for tomorrow. Now for the package registry, this is like one confusing thing. You, you can see read registry and write registry, but this is actually for the container registry, not the package registry. So if you want to give access, um, create a token for the package registry, right now you have to create, give it API access. Uh, we hope to address that in the future. So I'm going to create this personal access token. I'll copy that for now. I'll just leave it there maybe. Okay. So I have that. The next thing to do actually is to um, add the my GitLab project as a Helm repo. So for that, I could actually copy this command here. And I'm just gonna put it in my text editor for now. Here it is. Okay, so I have my 
repo add my username and then my password. Let's copy it from here. And then let's put it there. Okay, and then this project two, this is just the name of your, how you name your repo. So I actually have a, a previous repo that I use called project one. Um, and then we need our project ID. So here I just click that and copies. And then here I see projects and then this one, I'm gonna replace that with my actual ID. And then I can run this command. Actually, I need to do a couple of other things. So I just started this project. I do want to, oops, I am gonna to have to clone this. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. So now I have, I'm in the project. The next thing I want to do is copy this, add my Helm repo, which, nope, that's not it. Let's go back to my text editor. Okay, project two has been added to my repositories. And I am ready to push my chart, but I actually haven't created a chart yet. So let's see what they want me to follow Helm's documentation on that. So we'll go here and we'll just do Helm create, oops. I need to copy that. I'll just let's say Helm create Tim's chart. Okay, so it says it's creating. So if I go to open up Atom, I could see what's wrong now. That's the wrong thing. So we have to CD into that's the problem. So I have to go into so I had to be in my project folder and now I'll do Helm create and let's not call it something confusing this time. Let's just call it chart. Let's call it t -Riz. Okay. And now if I open Adam, see here's the chart. So now I just have to actually package it. So to do that, um, I'm going to Helm package TRISI. And then I could see here that the zip file was created. So now I could actually Helm push Rizzi, and then I have to put in the version. So zero, one, oops, zero dot one dot zero. And then we're going to push it to project two. Done. So if we go back to our project, I'm in the Tim's charts project, and I will go to the package registry. Here it is. I can see my chart, T Rizzi. I could see when it was first created and I could download the file here. 
we'll add more metadata here uh, in a, beyond the MVC, but for now you could just see basically um, the history and the file. And then if there were any other versions, it, they would be included here. Okay, so now I need to, I should test installing the package. Uh, so for that, I don't have to re-add my repo. I just have to Helm install. So first thing, I have to start my Kubernetes cluster. So let me just do mini cube start. This will take a second. And then once that's up and running, I can just get that command ready to go. Oops, here. Okay, so we're gonna get ready for this. Not Helm push, Helm install. We'll copy this. Helm install my release project two, and it's called TRizzy. So we'll just get ready to install this. Still running. Okay, my cluster's running, so I'm gonna try and install the, ch the package chart now. Oh, you have to run Helm once you have to run Helm repo update first before you can install the chart. So let's see. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I see. Because I have another example that I was using, and I also call that my release. So we're going to have to change the name. Let's just call it my release two. How creative. Perfect. Now it's running and it returns uh, the port that I could visit to view my app. I don't have, it's not actually doing anything. So I'll pause there. So in this demo, we re reviewed how to enable the feature, authenticate with a personal access token, set your GitLab project as a Helm chart repository, and then we published and installed a chart. This was great. Um, there's an example project that I will share in the in the YouTube link. Feel free to check it out or go to the issue and uh, comment here. If you have any questions, feel free to at me. Uh, if not, thanks for watching and uh, look forward to talking to you in the issues.